Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Sunday. All right guys, happy Sunday, fun day. I hope you guys are having the best weekend. I've been saying this on my other videos, but Jason and I came to um, our Airbnb place because we had to do a few things for the house. Um, he just set up my studio where we live and I didn't want to mess up the camera. So for the next two days, I'm going to be like this, and I hope you guys can understand, but that's not going to stop us from talking about the ish, and we got a lot of ish to talk about. I think we have like five or six videos today. So before we jump in, go ahead, smash that like button, pop off in the comment section, let us know where you're listening or watching from, and um, yeah, let's get into the ish. You guys know what I'm saying. Here we go. <laughs> All right, guys. So Jersey would not be Jersey if we didn't have the family drama. And that's why we're all watching and continuing to listen and just engage in the drama. Thank you to Reality Blurb. Jill Gorga dished on a recent really rude and nasty encounter that he had with, well, remember Richie? Yeah, Richie and Kathy. Mm. That was as Melissa Gorga responded to Kathy's recent shade against her on Friday's episode of her podcast. Now, after Kathy appeared on Watch What Happens Live, where she slammed Melissa's comments about wanting to reconcile as convenient, um, the 45 Real House, 45 year old Real Housewives of New Jersey star admitted to being taken aback by the diss, as she admitted to feeling regret over extending an olive branch and reacted to rumors of a potential cast reboot after season 14. I felt like she had a negative flair when asked about us, is what Melissa said of Kathy's Watch What Happens Live appearance on the July 19th episode of Podcast One's on display with Melissa Gorga. What I had said on Jeff Lewis Live was, I thought very nice and very in a way of moving forward in some which way. And it wasn't like a, hey, I want you on the show or... I want you back in our lives. That wasn't really what I was saying. I was saying it would be nice if we live on the same street and there are two cousins living on the same street and they bumped into each other, that it would be really nice to have them to talk and, you know, work it out and talk it out. Let me just say really quick, I agree with everything that Melissa Gorga is saying in this. She didn't say, I want your ass back on the show. This does not look like, it, it, uh, well, you know, like Kathy was like, it's a matter of convenience. No, it's not. Unless you think that Melissa is just playing the long game here, but it's not convenient to be around you or be in a relationship with or have a relationship with you for her because you're not on the show. She doesn't need anything from you. And as of right now, we don't know if you're ever coming back to the show. Maybe they'll invite you back and maybe they'll never invite you back. But the point is, is I get what she's saying when she says family. You know, my husband has family who he in the past hasn't necessarily wanted to be around and vice versa. I have cousins who I just genuinely don't jive with. And every time we see each other at family outings, like it's just awkward. It's embarrassing. It's awful. It makes me feel uncomfortable. I have these two cousins. They both got the gastric um, band. I think that's what it's called. I'm not sure, but they lost a lot of weight and they both look gorgeous. And like an asshole, I walked up and I said, oh my God, I haven't seen you guys in so long. I remember them very different before the surgery and they looked like they were healthy and happy and phenomenal. And I just walked up complimenting them. It created the biggest family fight because I complimented them. And how rude was I to give them a compliment and tell them how good they looked. I'm like, what are you talking about? That's like, you got a whole surgery in order to look that way. And I'm giving you a compliment. You paid for the surgery. It's like somebody going and get, it's like me going and getting a nose job or getting my new teeth put in. And then somebody call, like commenting and somebody saying to me, oh my God, Adam, your teeth, they look so nice. And me being like, oh my God, I can't, but how dare you even mention my teeth? How dare you? It's like, yeah, because they're right in my fucking face. You get what I'm saying? But hold on. Hold on. It just, it keeps going. Although Melissa's intentions were good, she now feels that she shouldn't have made an effort with Kathy and her husband, Richie. I'm like, huh? Do I regret saying that 
after she had that weird attitude on Watch What Happens Live, it was weird. I think she forgets who said that they're going to cut the cancer out. Hmm. That's obviously a signal to Teresa Judice, previously cutting ties with her and Joe's cousin, Kathy. Joe Gorga did what he had to do, which was support his family, and his sister asked him for something, and there he was being a good brother and did what he had to do. But that's basically what I was saying to Jeff Lewis on his podcast. Like, these are real cousins, and that's me extending an olive branch. But according to Melissa, she wanted to get to a place with Kathy and Rich, who recently moved onto her street, where if they saw them in the neighborhood, they'd be civil. But you know what? You're lost. Stay on your side of the street. All good. I tried to say something nice. I don't think I liked the attitude. I'm like, it's weird. We haven't seen her in a very long time. So I just thought it was a little petty. Meanwhile, Joe shared a story about a recent run-in with Richie, noting that after asking his cousin's husband, what's up? He was immediately shot down. He said, what's up, Rich? And he goes, that's Mr. Rich to you. In response before driving off. And Joe said he was really just rude and nasty. You're still bitter that you got kicked off the show. That's what it is. Get over it. Oi, oi, oi. Melissa then moved on to the remaining episodes of The Real Housewives in New Jersey, saying that the last three episodes of the season are really, really good. They are drama-packed. I feel like we saved the best for last. I know the season got off to a little bit of a slower start, but as the season goes on, it gets better and better. But as for the finale, Melissa said, oh, my God. We did film a little special. I know you're not getting a reunion, but you will get some type of closure. And I can't tell you how we're doing it or what, but you will get a special that is not a huge reunion, but you'll get an episode of our closing thoughts. And that's the apparent watch party after the finale. But looking ahead to the potential 15th season of the show, Melissa admitted that it would be an adjustment if she and Joe were no longer a part of the show before clarifying that no decisions have been made quite yet. There is absolutely zero decisions made on what's happening for the next season of New Jersey. The executives have told us over and over again that they are not even thinking about it. And I know that's a fact. They don't think about this until after the reunion airs. Either way, I think that we've shown a lot of our lives and I'm happy to continue showing it. And I'm also happy with the memories that we made. So we'll be at peace either way. Which I love that she's saying that, but let's be honest, like nobody wants to lose that fucking paycheck. That's a nice paycheck. Now going over to Ramona Singer. Whew. A source is claiming Ramona Singer is frantic about fading into obscurity after her exit from the show. Well, the 67-year-old who was often the center of attention on the show fell into controversy after a Vanity Fair expose accused her of racially insensitive behavior. Now, though she's denied the allegations, uh, according to a source speaking to In Touch, Ramona's social calendar is changing now that she's no longer on Bravo. With party invitations dwindling, Ramona is frantic about fading into obscurity. She misses the money, sure, but it's the fame and the perks that she's pining for. She's begging anyone who will listen to give her another shot. Another person added, Bravo Liberties never think the ride will end. It's a rude awakening when you're kicked off the show and the phone stops ringing. But around the same time, a source told Page Six that they spotted Ramona on a date with a young hot guy from New Zealand amid her relationship with Bill Luby. But Ramona and Bill have reportedly been dating since the summer of 2022 and spent the summer of 2023 together in the Hamptons, but she allegedly was seen looking flirty with the younger guy at the cocktail lounge in New York City. They were all touchy-feely with one another, but last year amid her summer spent with Bill, a source told the outlet she is a new woman, and she goes into the first anniversary of her relationship. The pair have been spotted making out all over Southampton. They're totally in love, and though the identity of the New Zealander is unknown, the insider claimed that he was much younger, not model hot, but hot. And there was a vibe going on for sure. Hmm. They claim that she was with the New Zealander at the bar for hours. So go on. If you're not getting your fame, get your man, honey. All right, guys, I'm going to hear what your thoughts are. Pop off in the comment section. If you guys are not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And we'll see you next time. Love you guys. Bye.